we are here today with Dr. Trocino to evaluate uh, the results after an experience uh, between uh, the industry and the research. And the first question that comes to mind is how did this uh, experiment start, this experience start? Thank you for your question. It was really by chance because uh, it started uh, by an email in uh, an evening night which, uh, to which I answered, for which we met with uh, the industry on the day after for developing a PhD project because there was uh, a funding possibility um, for, uh, for such a project. So the first uh, step was to write down this uh, project. The first idea was to work on field measuring uh, welfare and production of laying ants kept under different production systems, under different housing systems. Then we went further and we started uh, thinking about uh, developing uh, a small experimental farm in um, which testing uh, specific uh, uh, production factors on a small scale but uh, under controlled conditions. Many times uh, the, uh, the, the people uh, say that the experiments made in small scale are not uh, having enough uh, uh, substantive uh, results. What do you think of it? I think that uh, it's sure that conditions uh, on field, on farm, and conditions on small scales are different. But there is a great advantages in working. There are great advantages in working uh, under small scale control condition because you can check, you can control each factor, and you can obtain a very high reproducibility of what you are doing, uh, which uh, provides robustness to your results. I can see that uh, you've been experimenting with different genotypes, different strains of birds. What is your take of uh, different strains of birds? It is important to know the behavior, the behavioral needs of the different genotypes because uh, we have to use the different genotypes in different types of aviary, taking into account uh, which are their preferences, which are their aptitudes to optimize uh, their behavior, their welfare that we are using. Uh, here you can see brown and white ants. They have a very different aptitudes. The white ants are more prone to move, to fly, to use the upper parts of the aviary, especially during the night, while during the day they spend a lot of time on the floor rather than on the different levels of the aviary. So you told us that uh, the light plays a very important role in, the, in this type of farming particularly. What can you tell us about it? For sure, I can confirm you that the light uh, is uh, a very important factor. Um, it's largely known that both the number of hours that we are using for our ants and the intensity of the light that we are using can affect the reaction of the animals. But importantly, light can be used in uh, the different parts of the aviary to, uh, to, to distribute, to obtain a better distribution of the animals in uh, the different parts of the aviary. We, we can modulate uh, the intensity or we can use a higher light intensity in the nest to, uh, to, to expel them out of the nest at certain time of the day. So there are different possibilities and uh, there is uh, room for further research uh, to this regard. In the changing from uh, a cage environment where the birds are confined inside to these new systems of cage-free, uh, definitely we notice that there are some uh, changes in management uh, to be taken into consideration. What is your thoughts on that? I, I agree with you that uh, the change is uh, a very important change, but we should be aware that uh, this is the direction. At least at an European level, uh, we are, the European Parliament is calling for a phasing out of cages by 2027, which will affect also the farming of laying ants. The change will not be easy because the environment in which we are, in which uh, uh, ants will be kept uh, is completely different when moving from uh, a confined cage to 
a completely free environment like uh, in a cage-free system. And uh, while some problems of behavior will be solved, other can arise. For example, um, overcrowding, uh, the presence of large group of animals compared to the small group of animals in the cages is uh, a key factor that has to be controlled. The distribution of the animals in the different parts of the aviary, the deposition of the eggs in uh, the correct places that are the nest is not so immediate and uh, for sure the farmer will be called to have uh, even a higher technical skill and uh, a higher knowledge about uh, his animals for the best management. There's much more factors compared uh, to uh, the previous rearing and housing systems, but uh, this uh, should be done and uh, this will result in an improvement of animal welfare and finally in uh, the quality of the final product that we are providing to the consumers, which uh, will add also an added value from an ethical point of view. You have the chance to experiment uh, different birds that were here on cages and on the floor, and if yes, uh, what difference did you find out? In the first cycle, we used the ants that were coming from uh, a farm in which they were reared on the floor but with an upper level for feeding, for which they were trained to use the aviary. And in fact, when they came in uh, our farm, in our small experimental farm, they perfectly and soon adapted to the new system. Thus, in uh, the second cycle, we performed with uh, both brown and white ants that uh, were coming from uh, a floor uh, rearing without any level to train for the use of the aviary, we observed a large difference in the adaptation of the animals to the aviary when animals arrived. Laying ants had no problems indeed because from the first day they immediately went on the third level of the aviary on the porches without any problems. On the other side, we uh, had some problems with the brown ants, uh, which uh, um, found some difficulties uh, during the first days in reaching the levels of the aviary with the feeders, with the drinkers, for which we, at one point of the trial, of, uh, at one point of the first period, we needed to uh, brought them on uh, the levels of the aviary to train them to use uh, the different uh, part, parts of the aviary itself. As a professor in one of the most prestigious universities in Italy, what do you think uh, is the advantage for students uh, in an experiment like this and in being able to be part of it? We uh, have the possibility of uh, bringing our students inside this uh, uh, structure to see how they work, how they work, uh, how the animal live, the animals live, and um, in this way. Uh, there is a, 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 a complete transfer from theory to practice of what we are teaching them, that is great. As for research, uh, it's, not easy. We, it's not easy to uh, perform research on the field because of several reasons, because uh, it's difficult to enter in a working farm and uh, having the possibility of controlling the different variation factors that we have to study, while here this is possible. Siamo qui con Claudia e Giulio che sono i due dottorandi che sta facendo un master e che stanno quindi seguendo questo test ai quali vorremmo chiedere qual è stata di tutti i test effettuati all'interno quello che li ha colpiti di più. E a mio parere il test che mi ha colpito di più è stato quello riguardante la, eh, lo studio di, di, di due tipi differenti di tappettino all'interno del nido, in quanto il tappettino è un elemento molto importante all'interno del nido, e abbiamo potuto vedere che lo spessore del tappettino ha influenzato in modo significativo il comportamento dell'animale e anche la qualità delle uova all'interno del nido. Nel mio caso invece tra i vari eh, rilievi che eh, stiamo effettuando attualmente in, in allevamento, il rilievo di distribuzione dell'animale che prevede quindi eh, il monitoraggio della distribuzione dell'animale, quindi come l'animale utilizza le varie parti dell'aviario. 
Nell'effettuare questo test siete stati supportati dai dei sistemi informatici e da uh, molta elettronica. Quanto ritenete sia importante in un impianto l'utilizzo dell'elettronica e del monitoraggio remoto? Allora, in questi eh, sistemi di allevamento penso sia sempre più importante il controllo con sistemi elettronici in quanto ci permettono di controllare nel dettaglio, ad esempio, i consumi dell'animale. In questo caso possiamo quindi tranquillamente osservare l'andamento eh, all'interno dell'allevamento, quindi abbiamo la numerosità degli animali, il controllo dell'umidità e della temperatura che sono fondamentali, eh, la reazione e eh, in modo particolare anche il consumo degli animali eh, sia in termini di alimento ma anche ehm, in termini di consumo di acqua. Allora, credo che ehm, sia una schermata comunque molto, molto semplice come possiamo vedere e ehm, alla portata di, eh, di una qualsiasi persona, quindi a partire da un allevatore che non ha mai avuto modo di utilizzare una strumentazione all'interno del proprio allevamento fino ecco, a noi dottorandi o altre strutture comunque più ehm, impegnative.